what is going on guys Chris the Marvel Buff Nerd here welcome back to the channel please hit the like subscribe notification bell all those buttons if you want to if you like hanging out with me here I just watched the latest episode of Marvel's What If episode 8 What If Ultron 1 and holy crap what an amazing 30 minutes of TV um, it was so good I watched it back to back I just instantly hit replay so I could watch it again this episode is so so great. We're going to go into spoilers just a little bit when I touch on a few things. But they do so many good things with this episode. With the Ultron plotline and with other things as well. Like one thing I really love is we pick up right off the bat. And this is a world where everybody is dead besides Clint Barton and Natasha Romanoff. Two of my favorite Avengers. Two Avengers that get talked a lot of shit on because they're non-superhero uh, you know, spy assassins with hand-to-hand -hand combat skills, and one's good with bow and arrow, one's good with guns, and uh, they get a lot of shit in the fandom sometimes, but this was a really good episode that gave them, like, a lot to do, and really showed that, you know, if it's up against it, they they can hold their own really pretty well, and Hawkeye got to do a lot of cool shit in this, I really love Hawkeye, I love the character of Clint Barton, uh, he has a bionic arm in this, which was really awesome. Um, he has the cool in-game haircut, and you can just kind of see, you get a lot of the emotion, a lot of the pain through his uh, his character in this episode, especially when they realize that they have lost against Ultron, and he wipes out, spoilers, he wipes out all the Avengers in Avengers Tower after, you know, in our universe, what we know as um, Vision's body coming out of the cradle this is the universe where Ultron actually comes out of the cradle and uh, goes just berserker and kills everybody and, and his purpose is peace in our time and the way he's gonna do that is to wipe out all human civilization that's what he wants that's peace in our time for him and he kills everybody in the tower the only two people Avengers wise that weren't in there were Clint and Natasha and uh, yeah it sets us on our story of them just trying to do something come up with a plan and the plot of it is is that they need to get to a secret um, Russian KGB base where they have all the files for Arnim Zola and they're going to get Arnim Zola's AI and inject it into an Ultron bot and he's gonna go in and he's gonna fight Ultron from the inside because he can do that and he's not digital he's analog so Ultron can't corrupt him and hasn't already corrupted him so it's a really good plot that you know it, it's a good plan um, and there's the way that they go about it is there's always tons of action there's a lot of tension um, there's a lot of emotion in this episode there's a lot of really cool callbacks whether it be um, Natasha you know finding Red Guardian's old shield and then having a couple of callback moments where she does like her her pose off but the shields in her hand which was really cool and then, um, big spoilers, big spoilers, in this episode, they reverse the sacrifice of Clint and Natasha. So in this episode, Clint is, he's very tired of fighting in this world. He's lost everybody he's ever loved. The only person that is left with him is Natasha. And he's even grown weary of, of wanting to live in this world, even with her. He's just tired. He wants to be done. And uh, so we get a beautiful moment in this where he's being held on to her and he's the one that's gonna fall and she's like don't do this you know but you can see it in his face he's like I'm tired and he lets go and the slow motion scene we got of him going down and drawing that arrow on all those fucking Ultron bots was just absolutely amazing like goosebump inducing I I loved it uh, I was like yes man that is my that's my fucking Hawkeye that's Clint Barton right there baby that's what makes him so good um, this episode did such a good job of that, and and my God, Ultron! Like they did, this is what Ultron should have been. They did a better job in 30 minutes building Ultron into this world-devouring, Galactus-looking. I mean, this just absolute boss who can make Thanos look like a bitch, and he does. I mean, the scene with Thanos is over quick, and uh, it was hilarious, and I just went. Whoa, like, this guy's a problem, man. Like, this guy's really a problem. And it, it's, it makes you go back and think, with the live-action Age of Ultron Avengers movie from 2015, like, if they would have adapted more of this, like, evil, um, 
Ultron, where he, you know, they even make him look really menacing and sinister, much like the the comic counterpart versus the kind of like he, he looked big and imposing in Age of Ultron, but he wasn't he didn't look very evil or sinister. Uh, they really corrected it in this. He just looks like an absolute monster of a machine, and he is somebody that has to be reckoned with. Uh, and all this time, I still I haven't even talked about him and and the Watcher fighting because spoilers again. He once he gets all the Infinity Stones in him and and embeds all six of them in him, and he has that android body. He can see any and everything in every like once he learns that there is a multiverse and the Watchers in the back there watching him, he can see it all. All he had to have was his eyes open to it. And he can see through and past and forward and b before everything. And the, the throwdown that they have where you're watching Clint and Natasha fighting all the Ultron bot army. And then they're flashing to the Watcher and Ultron having a knock down drag out fight. And the Watcher is giving it his all. And man, he's just like, holy shit. Like, you know, I need some help. Um... This really sets up an awesome finale for next week for episode nine, and this honestly, I, I I have not been this excited for this series up until really now. Like I just watched Party Thor two nights ago, that was awesome. That was badass. One of my favorite episodes of this uh, of this season. I know a lot of people didn't like it, but I know a lot of people did, and I loved it from start to finish. Um, and then this. This episode being the penultimate episode leading up to the season finale next week is just, man, it got me going. I mean, it really did. I'm, I'm loving it. I'm geeking. I could probably watch it again. I will watch it again with my wife. Um, yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section down below what you think of episode 8 of Marvel's What If. And uh, yeah, I'm, Ultra, Infinity Stone Ultron is a problem. We, we've got to do something, guys. So uh, yeah, guys, have a good one. Talk to you next time.